So I'll try to make it really quick. There is a whole business created around how to steal money from YouTube creators using weak YouTube procedures. And the thing is that around a month ago, I received a copyright claim for one of my videos on my YouTube channel. And that would be okay if I use someone's content that I don't have rights to, but that was a total scam. And in the next few minutes, I'll share with you what's going on and how someone may earn money on your content. I will not explain here how YouTube copyright claim procedure works, but in a few words, YouTube content ID algorithm is running a check, and once it identifies copyrighted material in your video, depending on the situation, it turns into a copyright claim or even a strike. So together with the copyright claim that I received, I found these details. There is a company called Hexacorp Limited. You can hardly find any information about it on the internet. Already suspicious which claims to be the owner of the music track that I used in my video. The problem is that this music is licensed by Artlist, and obviously I have a license agreement. But for some reason, YouTube, after running the check, decided that the owner is someone else. And here is the most important part. If you don't do anything with this claim, I don't know, you don't care or you just didn't notice it, the money that your video is generating is going directly to the pocket of the scammer. If you dispute the claim, then all the revenue generated from this video during the 30-day dispute period is being collected in an escrow account. So if you win the dispute, all this money will come back to you. If you lose, money goes to a scammer. I asked myself a question. How is it possible? How is it controlled? Why is there even an option to get a claim from someone who has nothing to do with the content you publish? I chatted with the YouTube support. Obviously, they didn't have a clue about anything I was talking about. They trust their content ID system, blah, blah, blah. And basically, that it was just a light form of f off. So later, I came up with the following assumptions on how it's even possible. Most probably, these scam companies legitimately own some popular content and did because this is the only way they could get the access to this copyright management tool. They had to fill in the form, provide a lot of details and stuff. However, after getting the access to the system, they started to misuse it by sending claims to the right and to the left. And there are tons of similar cases on the internet. And since YouTube trusts those companies more than creators, it's them who decided what to do with the disputed claims. Fortunately, my disputed claim ended up well, I won, probably because I used the music from a very trusted source. This camera is lost, however, theoretically, they may do this again and again, and my revenue from other or even the same video will be held again for 30 days. YouTube, if you hear me, you need to introduce penalties for the content ID owners or owners. This is unfair if someone who relies on the AdSense revenue has to wait at least one month to get back the money they worked hard for. There are so many possibilities for scammers to misuse this functionality, and as we can see, these kinds of robberies are getting more and more popular. So please, please do something about that, make your system even more reliable. And for all of you guys, hope you're not a victim of these scammers. If you are, remember to dispute such cases if you are sure you're not breaking any policies. Hopefully YouTube will fix this gap and we creators will be more protected. If you've experienced a similar issue, share it in the comments. Let's see what companies are scamming you. And with that, we wish you a great morning, day or evening, whenever you're watching right now, and see you in the next one. Cheers!